Hey guys, welcome back. This is the lecture number 87 from our bootcamp series. In this lecture, we will discuss about an exciting feature that has been launched from Rails 6, Rails version 6. This feature is the action text. But before defining the action text, let's discuss what it is in general and how previous Rails versions deal with this. So let's consider a real world example where you can think of a blog model with two attributes, title and description. We usually take title as a string and description as text because the blog description might be very long paragraph or set of paragraphs and sometimes the description consists of images, GIF, formatted links, formatted HTML styles, list items, tabular data, course snippets and so on. So to store such data, we need a text editor which can have like you can see on my screen that which must have the formatting style like whatever you want to uh, write your text like paragraph or heading or maybe you want to write them as bold text or italic text and some attachments some formatted links styles and text formatting and the image image uploads quotes tables videos and so on okay so for that purpose you need a yc wig editor okay you can pronounce it this is w y s i w y g as uh, whatever i best suit to you but its full form is what you see is what you get so this is a kind of html text editor that we require to store such kind of content okay but this is now default in rails with action text but before rails 6 you have to use some gems like for all editor summer note editor ck editor these all these are the text editors where you can use these editors to uh, write this kind of html text content okay but now in rail 6 or from rail 6 we have action text to perform the to serve the same thing okay and with action text we can use text editor to store the content where we can add formatted links attachments and all that so action text brings rich text content and editing to rails it includes the text editor that handles everything from formatting the links to quotes to the list to embedded images and galleries okay the rich text content generated by the text editor is saved in its own rich text model that is associated with any existing active record model in the application any embedded images are automatically stored using active storage and associated with the included rich text model however we already have active storage installed into our course project but if we do not have active storage installed and if we want to use uh, action text then it automatically install the active storage in your application okay why because uh, it comes with the functionality to allow you to upload images in your text area or in your blog format or whatever the data you want to store so it allow you to store media files as well so it always comes with the active storage okay so this is all brief about the action text in the next lecture we will practically uh, we will use uh, the action text for creating description of blogs and projects into our course project okay so in the next lecture we will see how we can use this and how it actually works how we can define the rich text area inside the model and in the views okay so for this lecture this is just theoretical go for this and you can find more details about the action text at the active uh, rails guide of the action text okay so thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture where we will implement the action text for our course and project model okay so till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe